Hey, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville and welcome to day three. Oh my God, I can't believe it's just over the hump of the halfway point. And you know what? We've had so much fun here that uh, these little tidbits and videos that I'm showing you, they're gonna be pretty brief because quite frankly, I'm so busy learning things and seeing things that I just almost forget to pop the camera out of the purse. So with that in mind, um, we did go down to the vendor mall today and asked a really important question. I'm here with Giovanni and Nicholas from Mettler Thread. We love their threads. You know, we use them at our stores. This is Giovanni, this is Nicholas down here. So guys, here's a question everyone's been asking. Okay. Do you have to be a pro to use a pro? No, 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 no. absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Anyone can do it. All right, Jonathan, the question that is taxing all of us, this be you. Do you have to be a pro to use a pro? Using a pro makes you a pro. So, Jeremy. Yes, ma'am. This is the question everyone wants to know, mm -hmm. or the answer. Uh-oh. Do you have to be a professional to use a pro machine? Absolutely not. All right, I'm here with Sheldon from OESD. Hey, everybody. And the question everyone wants to know, Sheldon. Yes. Is do you have to be a pro to use a pro? No. All you have to know is how to hit that start button. Excellent. You're yes. smart. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I am here with the adorable Suki from hey. Suki Sews. And our question this year is do you have to be a pro to use a pro? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, but you'll become a pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much taller than you. I have to. <laughs> All right, here we, here we are. So I'm with Jamie. She's very tall, so she's going to hold the camera. But here's the deal Jamie. I know you know this, you know the real answer, but do you have to be a pro to use a pro? I think the pro will make you a pro, Gail. Ooh, good one. <laughs> you know, it's always fun to uh, connect with some of our vendor friends that we love and everything, And uh, but we also popped in to Amanda's class and we learned about custom quilting on the Bernina Q16 Plus on frame with the Qmatic. Now, I do have to tell you, the one thing I took away from this class is how Amanda Murphy can really command a room. Number two, I learned mm -hmm. we are actually doing some things right because all of her tips and techniques we practice at Bernina of Naperville. So how about that? This little rogue quilting that I'm doing, it's not so rogue after all. <laughs> And then, oh my gosh, we, you know, I got to take a class again after many, many years of not taking her classes, a class from Carrie Hay. Now, some of you might remember Carrie because she was the person who wrote the book, The Latte Quilt. Remember The Latte Quilt? We love it. It's been the inspiration for many projects at Bernina of Naperville and my old store, Strawberry and Rhubarb, that was in Burlington, Vermont. So it was great to reconnect with Carrie and to see just, you know, how her creative juices have been flowing with the new Q series machines. So we made free standing, beautiful, free motion flowers. And oh my gosh, now I have to tell you, I'm a horrible student. I never finish anything that I do. So um, I definitely am going to finish up these flowers, but I don't have that, um, you know, great bouquet of flowers to show you, but we're gonna do this as a club and maybe just a little video because I teased it on our social media, on our Instagram, and uh, I think a lot of you are really interested to see how those were made. Um, and then, you know, finally, you know, Chris, he treated us all to an awesome dinner at Perry's Steakhouse, and I'm still really full from it, so, but that was a good time. All right, well, you can see here, it's been too busy to even make the bed. <laughs> but I hope you really enjoyed seeing what, you know, was in store for day three here at Bernina University. And, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot going on to tell you about 
for day four other than we are gonna have the closing banquet to attend. So I'll probably do just a little quick video of, uh, you know, some of our friends that we see year after year and, you know, kind of the fun party. Um, but uh, there's certainly lots to tell you when we get back to town. So I wanna make sure that first of all, you follow us on our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for notifications because we have exciting news to tell you about machines that we can now sell online and drop ship direct to you wherever you happen to be in the US. Maybe you're in Kansas, maybe you're in Washington, maybe you are just down the street from us, but nonetheless, that's really cool, so stay tuned for information about that. But in the meantime, you know what? Stop into the store. We are actually gonna be open on the 4th of July. I'll be there, Amy and John, they're gonna have the day off, but Chris and I will be there, and we are going to be playing around with that new Bernina 790 Pro. So if you're not doing anything on July 4th, why don't you join us as well? Because I would love to show you, but remember, my demo is gonna be rusty because I'm just getting this machine for the first time. All right, happy sewing and I hope to see you soon.